I really miss you, ma'am. How long will you be staying there? Maybe like two weeks. Okay. We should save Johnny to and fro, ma. Thanks, dear. I do travel to South Africa every three months. I go there three times a year. Wow. I guess that's where you buy your jewelry from. Yes, my dear. I prefer buying my jewelry, dear. Wow, that's good. Your jewelry are quality ones. They are the best, I must confess. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Have you finished selling the last one you bought? Almost. The few ones remaining have already been booked. I'm waiting for the customers that want to buy them to return. She traveled out. Oh, okay. Wow. You have potential customers. <laughs> you can stay that the game, ma. Um, please, Melinda, my son can be a difficult person to work with at times. Um, anytime you see him acting up, please just ignore him. He's going through some emotional pains at the moment. Oh, sorry about that. Hope he wasn't hurt. Not really. It's a long story, dear. I will tell you about it when I return. But before then, please tolerate him and try to live in peace with him. Alright, ma. There won't be any problem. I promise you. That is good. Thanks, dear. Feel at home, okay? Oscar, do you think your uncle will win this election? Babe, let's be positive. We are talking about Angela's freedom here. I'm sorry for being pessimistic. My emotion has kept blowing my sense reasoning these days. God will help me continue staying positive. Amen to that. So I might be traveling back to Nigeria by next month. Okay, is that when the election will start? Not really. I think the election will happen in the next three months, but I need to travel before the election starts so I can be able to meet him. You know those politicians and how busy they are during the election period. Yeah, that's true. You need to go earlier than that. I pray your uncle wins. Amen, he will. And I also pray he accepts me to do the favor I'm going to ask him for. God will touch his heart. He will agree to it. Angela doesn't deserve to be in that hell. She has suffered enough. Chai. Who's at the door? It's me. Come in. Hi, Tony. Young lady, what are you doing in my room at this time of the night? I came to check up on you. Check on me for what? You know I kept your dinner at the dining table, but I noticed you haven't had it. I came to know why you didn't eat the food. Aren't you hungry? I'm not hungry, thanks. You're not hungry? You heard me clearly. No, now. I'm sure you haven't eaten anything today. You're just polishing yourself. My dear, you have to eat. Young lady, I don't want to eat. Get that straight. I'm put of correction. Don't address me as your dear again. I don't know you. Don't you think you're being harsh? Whatever. Please leave my room and lock my door. Alright. Good night. Angela, please be strong for us. You will come out of this triumphantly. We believe in God. I will be coming back to Nigeria soon. I will surely come to see you when I return. Alright, thank you so much, Mr. Pascal. You are a man with a big heart. I'm grateful for all you've done for me. Don't mention, my dear. You also did good to my wife and I during our wedding period. Angela, you are a good person and it really hurts us to see you passing through such pain. My wife has been really down emotionally ever since she got to know about your sentence. Oh, poor Diana. Please help me to keep comforting her. Tell her not to cry anymore. God will come true for us. You guys should keep praying to God because all our hope rests on him now. Sure, my dear. God will always vindicate the innocent. Has any of Tony's family visited you? Um, it was just Tony that came one certain time. What did he come there to do? Nothing. He said he came to get the prison line for Diana. Mr. Pascal, let's forget about those people. I don't want to talk about them anymore. Okay, dear. Sorry for bringing that up. It's fine. How is your business going? Going well. Thanks. It is well. Jumbo, what has come over that perpetual? She just they overdo these days. Don't mind her because she hasn't met someone who will beat Tommy Sui out of her in this school. Now, wow, she insults your papa, no be small. What? The picture of yesterday insulted my father? Never mind. I don't take it. I will wait for her after school today and beat her blue and black. She even said that your father ought to be selling pepper under the bridge. Eh? Eh? The picture said such a thing? Yes, so she was just insulting your father anyhow. What? How did she? Is my father her mate? She needs to be taught a lesson. Now, wow, Jumbo, like play, like play. Your father is turning into an object of ridicule in this school. You have to stand up for your pops, you. I think anybody is standing up for me. Hi, son. Hope you are good. Not so good. Why? What happened? Because I'm missing you. Three days I've been away and you're already missing me. It's normal, mom. I can't wait for you to come back. I miss you too, son. I'll be coming back by next week. How is Melinda? 
Who is Melinda? <laughs> the lady that lives with us. Oh, she's still where you left her. What kind of answer was that? Mom, Melinda is in the house. All she does every day is to wake up, eat, cross her legs and watch TV, be on her phone for hours watching TikTok, sleeps like a dead woman and does no house chores. Don't you say she's a millionaire? Is that how lazy millionaires are? Anthony, don't be sentimental. Stop overjudging people. She is just coming to that house and you are already studying her like for that mass. Why don't you allow her to be free so that you can get the best of her? I don't even need her food, not to talk of her best. Mom, please, come back so that I can go on a vacation. I don't have a miscrams around me. Tony, behave yourself. Stop complaining about others. You are not at all that perfect, but I have been tolerating you. Learn to tolerate others, I swear. <laughs> oh. Ah, my tummy. Ouch. It hurts. Oh, my feet are dying. Linda, what is wrong with you? Mm, ah, it's my tummy. It's really aching me. Since when? Since last night. I didn't sleep throughout the night. Oh, sorry about that. What could be the cause? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because of the water I had I ate last night. That's the only thing I ate yesterday. Don't know what exactly caused it. Ah, oh my god. Sorry, how can what I am cause stomach ache? Are you sure you didn't eat any food that contains so much preservatives? Sometimes that could be the cause of such belly ache. I don't even know. I didn't eat any sugary food try yesterday. It's alright. Let me dash to the pharmacy and get you some medicine. I believe the cramps would relieve after taking the meds. Alright, thank you. Hi Linda, how are you doing my dear? Doing fine ma. And you? I'm very fine. And Tony told me that you had stomach problem throughout yesterday. Yes, ma. But I'm fine now. It was just a food allergy, I guess. Oh, okay. That means you are allergic to water yams. Yeah, I think so. Have you been eating it before? Yeah, well, once a while. So why did it ache your tummy yesterday? I don't really know. Maybe some other things might have caused it, but I'm super fine now. Okay, dear. Just be careful with what you eat, henceforth. Don't eat whatever you are allergic to. I will advise you not to eat the water yam again. All right, my wounds. Thank you. Tony, what are you doing here? I brought you food. You brought me food? Yes. Why? Because I am a nice person and I want you at least to eat good food once in a while. God forbid. I've never been here for 15 years. Listen, young man, I know you came here to mock me. Please take your rubbish food and leave this place. I don't need it. Stop being silly. You have to eat good food. It's not up to a month and you're already looking skinny. You should thank me for rewarding evil with kindness. Fake kindness under my foot. You and your mother are evil. I'd rather stab all the boys of my life instead of tasting this poisonous substance you called food. Or as your mother sends you to poison me again. It won't work. Your plan has failed. Angela, you have to learn life the hard way. Of course I am learning. So please get the hell out of here and let me learn life in peace. I will go, but my advice for you is to work on yourself. Be a woman of integrity and stop being an underground criminal who goes about betraying others. Tony, please, I want you to go into my room and help me search for some document which you will snap and send to me. Okay, mom. What type of document is that? A blue file. You will see it right inside my drawer. Okay, I'm still at the office. When I get home, I'll check for it. Alright, dear. When you find it, just let me know. Okay, mom. How is business over there? Doing great. How is Melinda now? Hope the Tommy isn't disturbing her anymore. Not at all. She's super fine now. Okay, good. My regards to her. Okay. I'll help you get documents when I get home. Okay, dear. Make sure you eat well. Okay, mom. I will. Alright, son. Talk to you later, okay? Okay, ma. Have a great day. Have a nice day, too. I am confused. This is the same phone that those kidnappers took from me during the time I was kidnapped at Angela's village. Could it be that the phone was given to my mother when she came to pay my ransom? But why didn't she tell me about it all this while? Why didn't she show me the phone since then? And it is right inside her wardrobe here. That means she has traveled with that phone when she went to Canada. She traveled out with the phone, came back with it, and kept it inside the house for almost a year. And I knew nothing about it. This is so shocking. Or am I hallucinating? How come did this phone come here? Hi, Tony. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. How is your health now? I'm super fine now. Thanks for your help that day. Don't mention it's fine. You're on your way to the office, right? Yeah, I'm going to work. Take care of yourself. Won't you have breakfast before leaving? Let me quickly make you breakfast. 
No thanks, I'm running late for work already. When I get to the office, I'll find something to eat. Alright, please do when you get to the office. You know it's advice not to skip breakfast. Sure, I won't. Have a nice day. I'm off. See you later. Have a good day. Can I help you with the briefcase? No thanks. Trombone, I am asked to write a composition upon my father. Okay, pick up your pen. Let's begin. Alright, I'm ready. Bingo, I don't know about your father. You'll be the one to say things you know about him. Things like what? Okay, I will start by writing that my father is a landlord. He's a good man. Hmm, good man, okay. Don't worry, I'll tell you what to write. But you don't know my father more than I do. But I can analyze him more than you do. Okay, so what should I write now? First of all, write about your father's bank details, including his bank card pin. Only that man will score you like 90 marks. Wow, let me run and ask my daddy about his card pin. Eh? Do what? Please don't ask me for now. Let's write other ones first. We don't de talk, but we never bond yet. We just say hello and hi to each other. Now wow, that guy didn't mean no. No be small me no. Anyway, I know what to do to him. What do you want to do? I the reason something. What do you the reason? It will be like say I use Kayamata hold that guy. Which kind of Kayamata you want to use for him? I won't put love charm for your food. You won't put love charm for person when no they eat your food. How will you force him to eat the food? No worry, dude. Relax and watch how I will do this. I go use love charm hold them very soon. Can you say you no go work? If you don't work finish, put Zara. <laughs> Oh yeah now, run and make I see how it goes. Like I am very confused. I saw my ex messages on the phone when I went through it. I've just been confused about this whole thing. Could it be that my ex was innocent? What kind of message exactly did you see? I mean the message from your ex. Okay, I explained to you the whole thing that happened between my ex and the other day. Yeah, you did. I can remember the story you told me. Good. While I was going through the phone last night, I saw some messages she sent to me during the time I was kidnapped. And she also kept sending me love SMS for one month after that period. Okay, so you think she never had hands in what happened to you? I can't really say. I'm still trying to figure out the truth. But how did my mother get my phone? She only told me that she transferred the ransom they demanded for my release into the kidnapper's bank account. Okay, so by then the kidnappers had already seized your phone? Exactly. The day I was released, they kept me at a particular junction and called my mom to come pick me up. That was where my mom and I met. After my freedom from the kidnappers then, we flew outside the country immediately. How then did she get back on my phone from those kidnappers? Hmm, it's complicated. Relax, you will unravel the misery soon. Just keep investigating. Thanks for the food. It tastes nice. Oh, thanks. I'm blushing. I want to go see a friend within. Okay. Hope you won't stay long there. Not too long, I'll be right back. You're going to see your girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm going to see a male friend. Really? You don't have a girlfriend? Why, if I may ask? Because I don't need one. I'm better off this way. And how sure are you that you won't be the best version of yourself as a husband? Don't want anything like that, please. I want to be on my way now. I don't like engaging in conversations like this. You sound like a misogynist. Are you one of them? Maybe yes, maybe no. Wasn't born misogynist, but life wants to tag that to me. Anyway, not a bad title, I'm cool. No, you can't be cool with that. You can tell yourself the reason why you dislike woman. I never said so, so please spare me this topic if you don't mind. Excuse me, please. Grandpa, please, can you help me to go search for her? Where will I go to search for her? The day they came here to arrest me, I went with them. It was at the police station that we were throughout that day. I didn't get to know Angela's house. Okay, can you still locate that police station they took you to? Um, I can't really locate the police station, but I still remember the name of that area. My late brother and I used to live when we were working with a shipping company back in those days, when we were youth. I know the town very well. Okay, that's good. Grandpa, you will do me a favor, please. You help me to go back to that town and ask for that police station. When you locate the police station, then you go in and inquire about Angela's case and know if it has been resolved. Grandpa, please help me do this. I have just been worried about her. Okay, I will make her time and go there. Kenneth, I end up coming back home again. What is happening? Grandpa, don't worry. I will come back home. Just keep praying for me. They may deport us very soon. I will come back, okay? Tony, stop asking me stupid questions and leave me alone. Angela, you have to answer me. I need the answers to these questions. Are you gonna force me to answer your questions? 
No, but you have to answer them. And I said hell no, I won't. I came here with peace. I don't need your peace. We don't need peace in here. Angela, you have to stop misbehaving. Tony, what is your problem? I am not innocent. I am guilty. That is why I am stuck in this place. Where guilty criminals are. Leave me alone and go away. This is not what I'm asking you about. I asked you a simple question. Did you send those SMS to me, yes or no? Tony, I don't know what you are talking about. I sent people to kidnap you in my village. I made your mom to pay 5 million naira ransom. I slept with your uncle and got pregnant for him. I sent Diana to snitch on you. I pretended to be kidnapped and extorted another 5 million naira from your mother. I killed Mr. Nathaniel and I am the worst devil on earth. Tony, all these accusations are true according to the court's judgment. Leave me alone. Leave this criminal alone. Linda, you know say I carried out from go market yesterday. Guess what? Which phone are you talking about? The phone where I pick for grand now. Okay, what's it called? Put to the phone. You don't repair the phone. It didn't work. Hmm. I never repaired the phone. I just took it to an engineer and asked him to help me check if the phone is still working. So he brought out a new screen and fixed it on the phone. And we found out that the phone is still working. But he gets waiting. I see. Will not surprise me? Waiting, you see. Now one elderly man gets the phone. Okay. But remember that girl who kidnapped that time. That Diana friend. The one we escaped. Yeah, I I remember Angela. Oh yes, I saw her picture on the phone, plenty of her pictures, even the one she took with the man in bed. Uh-uh, the man and her husband or sugar daddy. I don't even know, it surprised me oh. So you don't repair the phone? So the engineer just test them to know if the phone they work. I never get one to fix the screen now, the screen too expensive, besides, now sell I go sell them. If I spend my hard earned money, take go fix the screen. I fit no sell them better money cause than fairly used phone, I beg, make it dead dead job. Now true you talk. You feel spend plenty money, take go fix that phone. Last last now scrap you go sell that one. I like leave that phone for now. So you like watching football games? Of course. Football is my favorite game. Wow, good to know. What's your best football club? I'm a Chelsea fan. A huge one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is good. I'm a Manchester United fan. Wow, hope my you. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. There, you should be hungry by now. Let me go make dinner for us to eat. Okay then. So what would you like to have for dinner? Anything. <laughs> Don't tell me anything. What if I fry water and present it to you? That's crazy. Who fries water? <laughs> <laughs> Linda can. Tell me you are joking. Okay. Just make some fried plantains and egg sauce. Wow. My favorite. Okay. That's good. So we are good to go. Sure. <laughs> so the both of you are now best friends. <laughs> oh yes, we are bonding well now. Wow, good to hear that. Bring it on, I love hearing good news. I'm proud of you, my dear. You are a woman of great patience. It takes patience to live with my son. You have finally gotten him. <laughs> you can say that again, ma. I told you that my son can be difficult most times. But if you are patient enough to tolerate him, you will surely win his heart one day. <laughs> That's true, ma. Tony is a very lovely person. He's fun to be with as well. Wow, my own very son, eh? <laughs> How's the business over there? Going well, my dear. I just have few goods to buy and stock into the container. Very soon, I will be traveling back to homeland. Wow, can't wait to see you. We're really missing you. Aww, I miss you, my darling. Guy, I don't bottle him. If you see the way we did rap on now, eh? You don't mean it. <laughs> Trust me, you know what I can do now. Sure, babe, I know what you can do. No, be you again. <laughs> Linda, the one and only iron lady. The iron lady that bends every other iron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is me. You can say that again. I did bend everything where I won't bend, including human beings. I beg, no bend me. Oh. No, now. How I go bend you? Oh, my guy, you be now. You they comply. Now those who know they comply, they bend. You see that guy? I don't squeeze and put him inside my pocket. Right now, he's inside my pocket. Yes, so Zip, I'm joined. <laughs> don't understand, bro.